What's happening guys? This is the Grandmaster of Faster and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, we traveled to the Distant Spring and made some progress, but not spectacular progress. In this episode, we are going to return to the Distant Spring to see if we can get some more ship parts. Now, I know in the previous video I said that um, I would be going back to the Impact site. But I changed my mind for a couple of reasons. For starters, I didn't feel like I made that great progress in the Distant Spring, and I felt like I didn't show enough off as maybe I could have. Uh, also, there is something I want to show in the Impact site tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the Yellow Pikmin to the skull where the Bomb Rocks are. And we are going to destroy this wall over here. One, two, three! And please don't die, please don't die. Thank you. And guess what? That's all you're going to see of the yellow Pikmin. Believe it or not, this day is going to be devoted entirely to blues. Well, actually, I lied. I think I'm, I, this is also an opportune moment to demonstrate how to use bomb rocks against enemies. So you throw the bomber near the enemy, and they will hurl the bomb at them, dealing a substantial amount of damage to them, I must say. And while the bull bear runs aimlessly around, we're going to wait until the yellows go back into the onion, and then we are going to take out 100 blues. Yes, you heard me. We are bringing out 100 blues. Okay, all present and accounted for. We're not going to get them flowered up just yet. Instead, we're going to take on this guy. Meet the Puffy Blowhog. This guy can be rather irritating. As you can see, he doesn't eat Pikmin, he instead blows gusts of air at them. Uh, this can be irritating because it can scatter your Pikmin quite far. Um, and the biggest threat, obviously, with this particular one is that he will cause them to uh, run into the spotty bull bears, and you don't want that. But if you throw enough Pikmin onto him, he'll they'll bring him down and then you can swarm him. Okay, let's deal with this spotty bull bear next. Come on, come on, bring him down, bring him down. Thank you! Alright, so far this video is going pretty well. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a Pikmin, he'll attack, and I'm going to immediately recall him. Why did I do that, you might ask? Well, when he goes back to his normal position, I want him to, uh, well, shall we say sit at a different angle. And what are you guys doing over there? Oh, wait. They got blown away by the puffy blowhog. Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God! He was trying to carry back a pellet under attack from the spotty bull bear. Dude, you got balls. Speaking of things that are round, have you noticed that the spotty bull bear's spots move? That's kind of unnerving. Anyway, let's take care of this guy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Not bad at all. I have to say, this video is going pretty well so far. And, of course, I jinxed it now because I've got to fight some yellow wallywogs. Okay, just gotta be patient. That's all I can say. Okay, just keep repeating the process. Throwing Pikmin, wait until it jumps up and down, then whistle them back while they are in the air, and you shouldn't lose any if all things go according to plan. I'm going to try my best not to lose any Pikmin in this video, because, well, I need as many flowers as I can get. And this guy should be just about down. Yes! All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to head over here because 
There are some Shearwigs waiting for us. Fortunately, they are near the water, so we can uh, take them down relatively easily. I believe there are three of them. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. Ah, no, 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 no! Get away! Get away! Get away! Come on, guys! I cannot have you trying to be heroes. As much as I appreciate it, and as much and as noble as it sounds, I don't want any heroes. Okay, so this, uh, this bridge is definitely going to take a while. So I think I'm just going to cut until I, uh, until we reach the end of its construction. Okay, it's been built. So we're going to, uh, construct the other bridge, which shouldn't take nearly as long. Um... In fact, while these guys are building that bridge, I'm going to uh, start taking down the other yellow wallywogs. Because there are quite a few ship parts in this general area. And I'm already kind of around the halfway point. So I hope that I can uh, get at least two. But as I said, my goal is three. All right. Come on, guys. I really need you to come through. You know, I probably should have flowered them uh, while I was near the spotty bull bears, but uh, nothing can be done about that now. Okay. I think my approach is going to be taking down the enemies, removing the obstacles, and then bringing the ship parts back to base. And I've been very, very lucky because... None of the enemies have killed any of my Pikmin. Alright, I could get used to this. Okay, with that completed, we are going to grab these guys. And we're going to disband them for now because right over here is a ship part. I found the Gluon Drive. Using the cork-binding metaphysical properties of gluons, this device, well, it's very scientific, and I don't fully understand it myself, but it was very expensive. Uh, 50 Pikmin required to carry it back, so, uh, yeah, be sure you have a lot with you. And I just have to say something. He's not sure of what the gluon drive does, and he acknowledges it as being very expensive. Olimar, you're a sucker. I'm sorry, but that's the only way I can describe you. You're just a sucker. Anyway, let's go ahead and take care of this yellow wallywog. Because, oh! How did he not die? I'm not complaining, but watching it from this angle... That Pikmin was underneath the yellow Wallywog, and he survived. That is absolutely remarkable. In fact, I'm willing to wager that it's the same Pikmin that tried to carry back that uh, that pellet when the Spotty Bulborb was attacked, or the Spotty Bull Bear, excuse me, was attacking us. Oh God, that didn't end well. I lost two there, and I was doing so well. Ah. Oh well, that's life, I guess. And this guy should be just about done, but first we're going to get interrupted by cutscene. Gluon Drive. I have no idea how this works, but it means the dolphin will again lift off with its characteristic roar. So 16 ship parts, moving right along. There we go. Okay, now that the Wally Wog has been defeated, we're going to have these guys go to work on this gate here. And while they are doing that, we're going to go all the way back and retrieve the Pikmin that carried the glue on drive. Uh, the good news is that the two ship parts that I am shooting for are relatively close to one another. So I think I can get all of them before the day ends. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, crack some of these rocks to see if we can get these guys flowered up. I probably should have done this earlier, but oh well. C'est la vie. Oh good, nice. 
Yeah, these spotty bull bears, uh, were the source of quite a funny outtake I made of this video. And, uh, I'll try and post it at the end, uh, when the regular video is over. But with these guys flowered up, we're gonna go ahead and start working on this particular gate. Because these guys are almost done with, uh, the light-colored one. And as you can see, there is a ship part over there. I'm just worried about this gate taking too long. Because I need to break it down. Otherwise, the ship part that I want to carry back will complicate things. By that I mean, if this gate isn't taken down by the time I get that ship part... Uh, then the Pikmin will take an alternative route. Alright, here's another part. It's my Zirconium Rotor. This is made from rust-proof Zirconium, which is particularly suited to making spaceship parts. I had to pay a lot extra to have this installed, and I suspect the mechanic overcharged me. Olimar, you need to take some advertising economic and economic classes. I don't know if they offer those on Hokutate. And what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Why are you carrying that Wally Wog back? Well, I suppose it's a good thing you're here because we can have you guys carry this back for us. Or not. I just realized it requires 30 Pikmin. Okay, I'm just going to whistle a few of you and have you guys help carry back the Zirconium Rotor. This should work. And I have a feeling that they'll be able to carry it back to base in time. Okay, this gate is getting close to uh, destruction. I just don't have much time left. Okay, down it goes. So now... Oh god, what are you... I forgot those Shearwigs were there. Oh crap. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Don't eat my Pikmin, please! And die, thank you very much! Now that those Shearwigs have been disposed of, we want to walk all the way over here and get another ship part. At last, my pilot seat! Once I get this installed, my cockpit will finally be back in order. Soon my ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Ah, the memories! Now, one would think that the pilot seat is an optional ship part. I mean, when you look at it, it's just a beanbag chair. Surely, that would have no impact on how the dolphin performs. But no, it's a required ship part. Yeah, I never understood that. And see, they're taking the pilot seat through the gate. That's why I said to... That, that's why I decided to destroy that gate earlier. Because if they didn't, then I would have to uh, cross into dangerous territory, and I don't want that. Okay. Come on, guys. I have... Yeah. Okay. They'll care... I think they'll care... Uh, th I think they'll make it back. God, I gotta get my words straight. We did it. I can't believe it. I got all three ship parts. That is remarkable. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Zirconium Rotor. Made of rust-proof zirconium, it is as shiny as new, despite being left out in this planet's harsh elements. I have now recovered 17 of 30 parts. So we're going to need 12 more before we can uh, go to the final area. And now, we've got the pilot seat. Yay! Olimar can finally sit down! Pilot's seat. Picturing this in the cockpit, images of me lifting off into space begin to fill my taxed brain. It fills me with inspiration once again. That brings our total up to 18. We are only 12 parts away from escaping this planet. And it's only day 8. Wow. I mean, just wow. This was a very, very productive day. So, I think we're just going to go ahead... I think we're just going to go to sunset, because 
all of our Pikmin are present and accounted for, and only two got killed. That's pretty good. Blue Pikmin, I am sorry if I had ever insulted you, and I feel sorry for other fans of this game who have claimed that you are the u most useless Pikmin type. Today, you proved yourselves. And man, the ship is looking better and better, I must say. And ha ha ha, Shearwigs, you get nothing. Eight days since impact. There are now only 12 parts that I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 22 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I will find out is to try to lift off. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride in this spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return. I must. I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. No Pikmin sprouted, but only two lost in battle. That's awesome considering the amount of work we did today. Alrighty, so next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we really will be going back to the impact site to collect that other ship part. If you like my videos, please be sure to leave a like or comment below and subscribe to my channel. Every one of those really helps. See you guys next time. So these puppy blowhogs can be really, really annoying because they have a tendency to shake off your Pikmin. And uh, then you have to keep throwing them on. And right now I'm worried about that puppy blowhog blowing some of my uh, Pikmin onto those spotty ball bears. And I, how did that not wake that ball bear up? I must ask. This guy's being really, really stubborn, though. But, uh, okay, come on, a little bit more. Yeah, I never have the easiest time with puppy blowhogs, but if you, uh, throw enough Pikmin on them, they will, uh, be brought down, and then you can swarm them. And now I gotta take on these, uh, spotty bull bears. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw one of them at that bull bear. Now, this might seem like a bad idea, but- Oh, no! I forgot about those Pikmin! Damn it! Oh, crap! I- ah, I woke up the other one! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! What? That is a massacre! Oh my god! Oh my... Oh, jeez! Hey, did you like what you saw? Then be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on my videos. Also, do you want to record LP videos like me? Then check out my kit page for my go-to equipment for recording.